Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Amber the Happy Homemaker. Today I'm going to be showing you some new Dollar Tree DIYs, but this time they are going to be for the tiered tray. So very small kind of trinket DIYs. So the first DIY that we're going to get started on is this little tray that I picked up from Dollar Tree and then I also printed out this farmer's market sign just on regular printer paper. Um, so we are going to be mod podging that onto our tray. I'm going to paint the tray white, white with the Waverly chalk paint. Um, and I'm just giving this just a quick coat of paint. It is a little thicker. This Waverly chalk paint is a little thicker. So when you're doing projects like this, you really only need the one coat. So now I'm going to Mod Podge my little sign or my little piece of paper onto the center of the tray. And when I'm using paper like this, thicker paper, I always put the Mod Podge down on the piece and then on the back of the sheet that I'm going to be gluing down. So I'm just going to center that up, get all the air bubbles out, and then I'm going to seal it back in with some Mod Podge over top. So now I'm going to go in with my Waverly Chalk Paint and Elephant and do a little dry brushing just to distress it a little bit. Um, I love doing dry brushing to distress my pieces. It's just such an easy way to give it a weathered look. So of course I, I do this with all my projects is do the dry brushing with the Waverly Chalk Paint and Elephant. I just love the, the white and the black kind of combination, which we will be getting into a lot of in this video, the black and white. So I just love how that sign turned out or this little tray turned out and I think it's going to be a perfect addition to my tiered trays. Okay, so moving on to DIY number two, and I picked up this little house along with several other ones that we are going to use for future projects. I also picked up this little bandana in the pet section and some greenery. This is boxwood from Walmart. So what I'm going to do is just trace out the little house with my fabric and cut that out. I'm also going to paint the very crazy print on the back. It's a beautiful print. It's just you can see it through the fabric. So I wanted to make sure that that's nice and bright in the background so you can't see all of the crazy designs that are popping through the white on the fabric. So I'm just going to put some Mod Podge in and I'm going to lay my fabric down on top of that. So the majority of these projects today are going to be based upon this buffalo check piece of fabric that I picked up. I actually picked up quite a few of these for other projects, but I just love the buffalo check in going into fall and winter. Um, I just, I like using this. A lot of my decor for the holidays are the buffalo check, so just kind of tie that in. Um, not only can you use this all year round, um, but the majority of the time I'm going to use it in my house is going to be going into fall and spring or fall and winter I'm sorry but now just to kind of complete it I'm just going to go around the edges where the fabric was kind of frayed a little bit and put some or, or I'm sorry some twine down just to just to make it look complete and now I'm going to add some of that boxwood greenery and then also make a twine bow. So what I do is I just wrap it around my fingers a couple times and get another piece of ribbon, tie it in the center, and you've got this cute little bow. Simple, but oh so cute. And I'm really excited to use this going into the upcoming season. So DIY number three, um, I picked up these home and relaxed little wooden signs 
and what we're going to do is Mod Podge some fabric. So I have kind of the coastal farmhouse theme going on in my home, so I thought the relaxed one kind of, I don't know. I feel like the color blue is just so serene and I like using it in my home a lot. But our basement, I'm going to be transforming that into a more, definitely more coastal cottage kind of feel down there. So I picked up this relax sign to go down there. So we're going to be putting some blue on that. But the home sign will be going on my tear trite upstairs, which is going to be mostly the buffalo check. So I'm again using that bandana, the pet bandana, to go on the home. And then we're going to be using that blue fabric to go on the relax sign. So I'm just making sure I have the letters nice and saturated with the Mod Podge to lay that down and then I'm just going to seal them up by putting a coat of Mod Podge over top and then I'm just going to let that dry and once it's dry it's really stiff and then you're going to be able to cut around it a lot easier and it won't pull away from the wood. So again, just going to use that blue fabric to go on the relax and I just think that's very fitting for kind of the coastal because we absolutely love the beach and it is nothing but relaxing when we go to the beach. So um, yeah, we're going to go with that blue just to give it a more calm vibe. And now that everything's dry, I'm just going to take my Dollar Tree detailed scissors. I love these things. Highly recommend if you see them, pick them up. But I'm just going to trace around the wooden letters and cut all that fabric out around them. This is quite a tedious process, but the end results are just amazing. So that's what they look like when they were done. And I absolutely love them. I think they're so cute. are a perfect addition for a tear tray. Okay, so now for DIY number four. Um, I picked up these rolling pins off of Amazon like two years ago. I don't know what my intention was for them then, but I decided to bring them out today in today's DIY. So again, going with that whole buffalo check theme, I'm going to paint this one white, or I'm sorry, black with white handles, and then I'm going to paint one with black handles with a white roller, and then one we're going to paint white handles and do the buffalo check around the pen. So um, this kind of got, I should have had a stiffer brush <laughs> when I'm doing this because there's a lot of close-ups and edging that you need to do with these, but it all worked out. So. Um, I'm just going to give those all a good paint and how I wanted them and then we're going to go back to and do some final details. I don't know what kind of black paint that was but it was wonderful. I don't even know how old it is or how long I've had it but it is this nice matte black color and it just went so well with the white against it. Um, it only took one coat and it was just a really good paint and I apparently have no idea where I get a lot of my stuff because it's just been sitting down there and yeah but anyways I'm just going to grab that black or buffalo check fabric again and we're just going to roll it onto the rolling pin So I'm just going to grab my detailed scissors again from Dollar Tree and just go around the edges just to cut off all that excess fabric. Okay, so now I have this Waverly stencil that I got at Walmart and I'm just going to put home on there. And once I get it on there, I'm just going to kind of blot it um, just to make sure it doesn't smear onto the 
um, stencil when I move on to the next letter because I'm impatient and I didn't let it dry in between um, but it all works out um, it dries that paint dries super fast but I'm going to put home on one and then we're gonna put farm on the other and I know a lot of people do these in the Ray Dunn wording and um, but I just kind of, and I, as much as I love Ray Dunn, I just wanted to do something a little different. So um, that's why I'm using those stencils instead of printing off something like I normally do um, and mod podging it on. But so next, I'm just going to get this buffalo check ribbon that I've had and tie it onto the ends. And I just think those go so good together, and they're going to look so cute on the tray. But for the black one, I'm just going to put farm on there with the Waverly chalk paint and white and just give that um, the same kind of treatment that we did the home pen. So do, again, doing the little ribbon on there, and that is how they turned out. And these are probably my favorite projects so far. <laughs> I just love how cute and like dainty they are, and again, just another great addition to a tiered tray. So when you put everything together, this is how it all looks, and I absolutely love it. So I hope you guys did too, and if you did, please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!